Austin Health is sponsored by Austin Recovery. Detox is a critical time in a client's recovery. Breaking that addiction, especially from alcohol without medical supervision, can be extremely dangerous. Austin Recovery provides a full continuum of care through every step of your recovery. With the second inauguration of President Barack Obama now behind us, the Second Amendment to the Constitution is back in the headlines. But here in Austin, a gun collector thinks he has a way of downsizing the debate over firearms. New at 6, KXAN's Jim Swift has this tiny report. This is a, a fourth scale carving fork, knife, and spoon. Sure enough, it is that, but it is also three separate miniature flintlock firearms with fully functional moving parts. This is a squeeze pistol. Collector Joe Menifee has amassed more than 150 teeny little guns, almost all of them exact replicas of their full-size, more dangerous cousins. Now, in this case, fully functional means all the parts work just like they would on a full-size version of a weapon. In other cases, though, fully functional goes well beyond that. Take this little number, for example. While it won't actually fire a round, it does make one heck of a pop. I actually would prefer that, uh, you know, this miniature collecting would be the alternative to gun collecting. For most people, though, that's easier said than done. Because while tiny in stature, these miniatures pack a big hit on the pocketbook. I guess the uh, least expensive is about $400, and they go as high as fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. And the reason for that is? Well, the miniatures are collectible. I mean, they take a lot of intricate detail. They're handmade, each piece, and they're rare. Indeed, says Menifee, there was a time when only kings and queens could afford to own such conversation pieces. But later, the minuscule weapons took a practical turn. Salesmen for full-size makers would make the guns in miniature because it was easier to carry around with the transportation they had back then. So it was a sales tool? Yes. And somewhere along the line, somebody went, hey, this is neat. Yes, they started off with half scale, and someone said, I think I can make that in one-third scale, and then it was a race to see who could make it the smallest <laughs> fully functional. For the record, Menifee is a big backer of the Second Amendment and he supports the right of people to collect the big boys. This is a Thompson M1 submachine gun. It would be similar to the, um, the gun that's in question, I guess, today, uh, the AK-47. But Menifee spends his energy buying, selling, trading, and bartering the miniatures. There's no danger in collecting miniatures. In West Travis County, Jim Swift, KXAN News. And if you'd like to take a closer look at Menifee's collection, we've got the internet link. Don't let bad weather ruin your day. Get the most up-to-date form.